Alright boys, so we're out here on the spring trap line going for some nuisance beavers and uh, we got ourselves some muskrat on this caster mound set. So that's trap number one of the day, so we'll see what else we get. Alright guys, so we're out here and uh, we're on an island and there's a beaver hut and uh, I got a trap right there and nothing. And a couple traps right there. That one was sprung, that one nothing. So I'll have to reset that one later. But when I come back later, there's some muskrat poop on that log. And that's fresh from last night. So uh, I'll, have to, I'll come back in here with some muskrat traps and I'll set some of that. So I got a couple more traps to check down over there in a creek. So we'll see where that leads. This is a different swamp than the one we were just checking. So. We'll see you then. All right, guys. So we're uh, back here, and we got our traps. We're gonna set a couple muskrat traps right here, and uh, I'll set you guys up right here. We don't have a tripod or nothing, but this will do. set you all up. That should be good. Alright, so there's poop in the middle right here in the clump, so Take some wire, wrap it around the log, right, so we're going to take some wire, wrap it around the log in the middle. Right, so this is a completely floating log, so that's going to make it a little harder. Set our traps. This is a Duke one and a half we're using. So this one's set. I'm just gonna set it on the log here. I gotta set that sideways because it lays better. Attach that to the wire. So we got one attached to the wire, just sit on the log like that. And then we got a Victor one and a half. We're also going to set right here. This is better. This one's better for muskrat trapping. I don't know. I like it more. We're going to set that on the other side. We're going to this through the wire. And then, we're going to attach the wire back. We'll set both our rope to the wall. both traps to the log and have them spaced out a little bit. And then run your wire back up. And kind of, I'll show you better once I'm done. Kind of make it pointed up. Then just make it work out. And so next you want to get a couple carrots. I'll put like three carrots. Walk down the log and get caught. I'm gonna try and wire this log off because it's moving a lot. I'm 
stake on each side of this log so it doesn't move. Got all them geese. So as you can see, we got the log, floating log, there's muskrat poop. We got three carrots, trapped there, trapped there, they're both wired off to the log. Staked the log so because it's just flowing. But that's a pretty solid muskrat trap right there. And uh oh, they're landing. Let's get a video of them. Going around another time. A lot of geese. Alright, I'm going to set a couple beaver traps right here and we'll show them, but I'll be right back. Alright, so we got one trap there, got a couple of fresh sticks set up, kind of like a stick set. We got another trap there. This one was the one that was set off, so I don't know. But I got some lure that's coming in t today, so I might set that out later, but who knows. I just found a ton of muskrat poop right here. Look at all that. Wow. Well, I'll see you later. All right, guys, so I checked the, all the traps of where I caught that muskrat yesterday. As you can see in this big farm field, and there's beavers over there. Nothing. So I'm going to go head over to the other swamp and see what I get. All right, guys, so we're at the muskrat trap I said yesterday. Let's check them. The water got really deep, so we have to be careful doing this. I didn't catch one. Are you kidding me? Jeez. I didn't catch one in this one. That doesn't make sense. Well, so we caught us a rat right here. I had the trap right there and there's a rat. But I had a trap set up over there. And uh, a beaver took it down the uh, cord wire. I have a wire and a bag of rocks down there like that. And I guess it was too uh, shallow for it to drown and it pulled out of the trap. Not gonna explain anymore. That's why I didn't show. Some of you guys will know what happened, but yeah, it just popped out of the trap like that. But I caught a, mat, a rat here, and we got a couple more traps to check. Well, we're on the trap where uh, we caught, we had miscaught caught that uh, beaver the other day, and uh, we have another stinking rat. So we'll check a couple more and see what we got. Well, guys. I'm out here checking traps and uh, caught this beaver right here and there's an interesting story because 
I walked from out there. I was about right there and I saw it. So I figured with well, my traps right there, I can see the trap on it with my scope. And I figure it's got to be a toe catch because the trap's a one and three quarter. And I don't have any drowner set up on this trap. So I kind of just went for it. Missed, I guess. So I had to run back to the house. I missed twice because it was far away, just offhand, just going for it. And then I guess I didn't have any more bullets in my thing. And so I ran back to the house, grabbed some bullets, drove down the road to over there, and uh, hopped out, ran over here, and uh, shot him. I had to do that off camera because, as you can tell, it's a toe catch. But uh, it's also a small beaver, so it's probably why I caught it. I don't know. We'll see you once it's on the four-wheeler. Well, this is the uh, first time I caught a rat in a Duke number four. So uh doesn't look like much damage, but it definitely got it. Definitely caught it. But uh, we have another rat on another trap over there. I'll get you. I didn't, didn't go over there yet, but we'll see you. So this is what's been setting off my little trap on a caster mound. This little devil with a piece of grass in his mouth. <laughs> 